Hello guys, today I'm going to replay the brake pack on this vehicle. This vehicle equipped with automatic electric handbrake. So what I would like to do, start the engine. As you can see, the handbrake is applied right now. It's on right now. And as you can see, the reason why I start the engine, because you can see right here, the indicator on the automatic set as button right here is on. First, I would like to turn it off first. And then, go ahead and uh, turn it. Handbrake stop. Okay, as you can see, right now the handbrake is is off. But let me go inside here, go for uh, set it, and go for my car, and go down. Let me see, yeah, you can see right here, parking brake and suspension apply at engine uh, stand still. Okay, as you can see right here, we have to turn this off. Okay, once you have that off. You can turn off the engine. Yeah, right now the engine off. No handbrake on, guys, because if you don't, and uh, when you turn the engine off, and the automatic handbrake again. After we remove the wheel, check for the handbrake again by spinning the roller. That means right now we don't have the handbrake on the caliper, as you can see right here. The ABS sensor try to remove the wire. Yeah, check about that. And on the motor, the connector, as you can see, the yellow clip right here, just fry it up and then it will disconnect it. Yeah, we got it disconnected and remove the cover from the back of the motor actuator yeah, by maybe a few clips like this around. So now we can able to remove the cover from the back of the motor actuator yeah just put it by the side like that so now we have to remove the motor actuator as you can see one bolt right here and one more bolt down here i think it's uh, five millimeter so now i have two bolts removed and now just bring around and take the motor and actuator up So, on the brake caliper, you try the cap up and lower up. Yeah, but I have two cap here. And this one, I think, 7 millimeter. Here and another one to stop. And on the side here, try to remove this. And remove the caliper. And then we have the brick pack here. Yeah, take the brick pack up and the inside one up. And I have this leg here, as you guys can see. As you can see, in the back of the, the piston, we have the sap here. You can do the socket like this, I think it fits, yeah, it fits perfect. And then you can able to turn counter uh, clockwise. Okay, you, you turn the clockwise until it stops. As you can see, I can turn it by hand. If you don't know which way, if you turn the counter clockwise, and if you don't know which way, you can keep turning. If you see the piston is coming out, then stop and turn another direction. Okay, in this case, I turn the counter clockwise. Uh, clockwise but I don't see the, the piston moving at all. That means, yeah, right now stop, right? Right now stop, and then you can able to track the piston in. I think we can able to use the fly in there, so that you can see. Yeah, I go in there. Yeah, I think that's good for us. Number four, put the new uh, brake pack on. After we have the new brake pads put on and the caliper put on, everything put on here, except the handbrake motor. As you can see now, the motor, uh, the caliper still move back and forth. And this step very important if you guys work for yourself for your own vehicle at home. If you don't do this, when you apply the handbrake from inside the car, and the ECM will set the malfunction because 
might see uh, the time is for the motor running is too long or not even from the right side compared to the left side and that's why you use the socket here and remember when we retract we turn the clockwise and now we turn the counterclockwise and as you can see you can see you shake the caliper right now a little bit hard to turn you can use the ratchet and turn it as you can see right now tight you cannot spin the rotor anymore so it looks about about less than a quarter turn yeah, now we can able to turn what it means it means every time you ride the vehicle you turn off the handbrake the piston is to go back a little bit enough for the rotors freely spinning it not go too far but when we do the bridge job we turn the actuator behind the piston and then it's too far when we apply the brake and the PCMC too much time for the motors uh, running or not even uh, from the right side compared to the left side, left side compared to the right side and we'll set the malfunction the reason why I tell you if you do your own vehicle it might get a headache because you don't have the high-end scan tool to reset the system back to normal because the uh, ECM already set malfunction and then we need the human involved to fit the problem Okay, that's it. Oh, now, seems like the handbrake up, caliper don't sit too much, and then we put the motor back in. Try to light up the hole, and then put it back in. Yes, and now I will be back when everything here done, even uh, the wheel put on. Another side, do the same thing, and uh, now we're in the vehicle and try to start it yeah as you can see the handbrake is off now no indicator light right there so now I try to apply the handbrake yeah I can hear the motor running and as you can see the handbrake is light on right now so after we're done and we need to put everything back set back up and on in here for handbrake system for the owner and return the vehicle so if you do on your own vehicle should be careful on the something uh, electric handbrake like this system like this and also have the automatic uh, handbrake system and you have to follow um, step by step and you have to do the right procedure earlier out there as you can see when I try to use the tool to turn the, the, the piston back to crack on the brake and get it loose a little bit like um, when you off the handbrake normal like that and then because if you don't you work on your own car at home and you might get the problem is when you apply the brake on the first time and the ECM is see why the right side or left side motor running time is longer than the other side and you set the malfunction or my both side running uh, time is longer than normal when we apply the brake uh, handbrake and then you set the malfunction and you might get a headache with that because you don't have the high-end scan tool that's it guys if you do your own vehicle follow the video what I did uh, and uh, you might get the job done all right thank you for watching see you guys next time bye bye